I'm bringing in a new series of videos uh, where I'll be demonstrating real-time examples that uh, developers come across in their day-to-day -day, uh, work so that even the beginners can get a, a, an insight on what actually they need to do when they are on the real job. Okay, so keep watching. So uh, the example, first example I'm going to bring is uh, a workflow rule. So I was asked by one of my students' assistants with uh, a workflow rule that he was assigned a story to. So whenever the user updates uh, any opportunity, when it's created or updated, the opportunity and the stage moves over to qualification stage. Okay, so then automatically the opportunity should be updated with the current date stamp okay so whenever the opportunity was updated to a qualification stage then that time should be updated in a specific field okay and that should happen only once so once it moves to stage two then uh, the stage qualification then only that field should that time should be updated so if somebody updates it again back to qualification stage then it should not uh, uh, note, note that time only when the first time it happens it should be noted and then uh, you have to also make the field as read only so that the user should not be able to update it manually okay so that we get the exact time or date <coughs> okay so uh, not all the orgs practice orgs will have the field so we just need to simply create a date field to uh, note down the date to update the date okay so it was not provided that you have to create a workflow rule but as workflow rules are the uh, simplest and the best approach towards it as salesforce also recommends to go for the configuration method first if it's not achievable only then go for the development writing triggers or writing apex code okay so let's see how we can achieve this using a workflow rule there could be other ways, there could be better ways. So if you guys are uh, aware of any better way to do this, then the approach that I'm taking, then uh, you're more than welcome to comment in the uh, comment section. Okay. All right, let's get started. So uh, I'm already in the setup. So you have to go to the setup. So you can go to setup and just quickly, we will create a simple field in opportunity with a date, data type. So we will look for opportunity so I'm just going over to the opportunity object data model and in the fields and relationship, I am going to create a new field with date data type. Okay, because we have to note down the date, the current date, whenever that field was updated. Okay, so I'm going to create a new field and we will call it maybe uh, qualified on. Okay, so I'm going to choose date from the list of data types. So it allows users to enter a date or pick a date from the pop-up calendar. So we go next. So we will update it to qualified on, okay? Because the opportunity is uh, will be qualified by a sales rep to, uh, and the stage will move to qualification stage. Automatically, it will pick up the API name of the field. So description, we can put the description. first occurrence of up uh, stage update to qualification okay all right so if the user needs a help text we can provide the help text as well and it's not a required field so we don't need to uh, it should not be like a required field so there could be uh, new records which doesn't have any value so we don't need to put a required field okay so default value is not required formula we don't need to edit using the formula because we will be updating it, uh, updating it using the workflow okay so we go next so if in case if you want to update some uh, security on it like uh, you want to make it more secure by uh, providing access to only a few of the users few of the user profile as of now uh, this is just a practice org so i will not focus on that 
move next and any opportunity page layout you can assign it to so as of now you just keep it uh, default okay and we click on save all right now it should be added to our page layout so we can quickly go ahead and check it out so we can go to any opportunity okay detail page so we have the field qualified on and it should be of date type okay, so we are getting date all right so we may we can make it read only later so let's focus on the workflow rule first so we can just go to setup and we go back to home of the setup and in the quick find we can uh, type workflow rule so hope you guys know what workflow rule does so workflow rules are automatic triggers which happen based on the uh, record updated or created so whenever one object record is updated or created you can you can trigger it to do some activity automatically okay so uh, that's what a workflow rule is and workflow rules can be used to achieve four types of tasks so let me come back here um, to workflow rules so that i can show you guys so there are four types of tasks uh, four types of activity or actions that we can achieve using the workflow rule is we can use it to create tasks email alerts or update any field or sending any outbound messages okay so here we are dealing with field updates uh, because we are going to update the date field okay so these are the four actions that can be achieved using the workflow rule all right so workflow rule automates the following types of actions based on your organization's process so some process happens user does something some event happens then action has to be taken by the salesforce org automatically okay so these are the four types of actions that can uh, happen on our workflow rule okay so let's continue and let's uh, create a new workflow rule so we just click on this new rule button and we will be choosing on what object we want to create the workflow rule so as it's already specified that we have to create it on opportunity object okay so we'll look uh, for opportunity from here and we go next all right so first we have to give a name okay so what should be the name uh, so update time stamp on qualification okay so you can put the same description and so there's a requ the requirement says that it should be updated uh, whenever the new record is created or it's updated to qualification stage okay so even if the new, new record is created in opportunity and the stage is qualification you still have to update the timestamp okay only once okay should not shouldn't update uh, again once it's updated okay so i'll choose created and uh, anytime it's edited to subsequently meet the criteria all right so criteria are met so he from here i have to choose what is the entry criteria so when should this uh, workflow rule be evaluated so i have to monitor a field so i have to monitor the stage field so whenever the stage field becomes qualify uh, qual uh, chooses qualification then we have to update the field okay so we choose the stage field from here so opportunity stage and operator equals and we have we can choose from the lookup okay so as as the stage is a pick list value it's not a text value okay it's not a text field it's a pick list field which will have multiple values if you want you can uh, if you are new to salesforce you can go and check out what is the uh, type of the stage field so you can go to the edit object from here and if you are in opportunity tab then you can go to edit object or else you can go to setup and go to uh, object manager okay so here automatically it will uh, bring you to opportunity object manager so we can go to fields and we can look for stage so as you can see stage is a pick list so you can further drill down what are the values in this pick list and what are we working on so opportunity stages pick list has these many values in this default org so qualification is the one that we have to choose 10 percent probability okay all right so moving down to here so we can choose the value so it will give you the exact same values that we saw over uh, here okay 
okay so this is very uh, user friendly so you don't need to copy and copy the value from the uh, back end and paste it here you can just choose it and it should automatically work all right and we need one more condition is that it should happen only once it shouldn't allow you to update it again okay so once it's updated once opportunity uh, once the opportunity date is uh, updated then it shouldn't update further okay so we also have to give one more condition so this is my first condition that stage should be equal to qualification one more condition is that the date field that we have uh, created we just created which is qualified on so this field should be blank so if it is blank if it is null or blank or it's if it's a, it if it has not been updated yet okay then we have to update it only once okay if it is not blank then you have to uh, not update it that means somebody uh, that that means it was already qualified sometime before and it it has already been updated okay okay this is my approach maybe there could be a better approach so if you guys are aware of any better approach please uh, please uh, you can you can help me to learn it okay you can comment in this comment section okay and uh, both the conditions are in and it's not in or okay so if you if if in case if you have a requirement to uh, have multiple conditions in uh, or logic then you can add the filter logic from here and you can modify so as of now by default it's always in and okay by default as many logic statements as you uh, uh, keep on adding then it will be by default in and okay so you don't so i don't need to put uh, separately and so it by default it will take and so if in case if you have any example which is using or condition then you can modify from here okay all right so that is not so i'll clear the filter logic by default if you see it's all in and okay so we go save and next All right, so our rule entry criteria is that opportunity stage equals to qualification and opportunity uh, qualification qualified on the field should not be updated so it it, sh it should be equal to null okay and evaluation rule when a record is created and any time it's edited to subsequently meet the criteria okay all right so immediate workflow actions so no time based actions required here uh, because it should happen immediately so we don't have to wait for any uh, trigger time trigger so we can just add some workflow action now as i told you before also showed you that we have four types of action that we can choose new tasks email alerts or new field update or new outbound messages from the workflow okay so a lot of interview questions uh, come across this so they will ask you when to use workflow and when to use process builder so there are limitations in workflow that you cannot create a new record uh, uh, when the workflow rule works okay you can only update records you cannot create new records okay and and uh, the other three is you can create new task you can create new uh, send new emails or you can also send outbound messages okay and you also cannot write apex or uh, apex cannot run on workflow rules so these are some advantages of process builder over workflow rule so you can uh, uh, post on chatter you can run e uh, apex code and you can also create new records okay so there are other mo uh, more but we are not focusing on process builder so uh, let's go for new field update okay so we are going to create a new field update this field update can be used on other workflow rules also okay it's uh, if you want you can just create it once and you can use it again in other workflow rule also okay but as of now we will just uh, focus on this all right so uh what field update we are doing so we are just uh, we'll call it as update timestamp on qualification the same thing or we'll just say update timestamp okay we'll leave, uh, leave room for uh, uh, future use so if in case if uh, we need to update it update the timestamp on some other uh, rule then we can we can use this okay description not required so what is the field that we want to update so on the object on the opportunity object we have to update if in case if we had any other object related to opportunity then we could have updated it okay so if if we cannot update some object which is not related to opportunity 
okay so here our account is related to opportunity which is a parent so we can update it so if if in case if we had any requirement to update the account also which is related to the opportunity the same opportunity which was qualified then we can choose account and we will get access to the account fields and we can update it okay but here we are we just want to update opportunity so we want access to opportunity fields so we have both standard fields as well as custom fields so uh, we have some custom fields qualified on so I want to update this okay so the field data type is date and <coughs> sorry so re-evaluation workflow rule after field change so if this field update change update changes the the fields uh, sorry if this field update changes the fields value so all workflow rules on the associated so if if the related field which is which we are working on if that gets updated then we can uh, ask it to reevaluate as of now reevaluation is not required because it's a straightforward approach so so what do you want the date uh, field to be okay so we can choose so because we need uh, the current timestamp current date so whenever whenever that was updated so we can choose a formula field all right, so here we need to write a very simple formula. So we can just uh, uh, take help from the editor, the formula editor, and we can use the function categories from here. Okay, so we can choose date and time, and we can get date. Okay, so uh, not this function, this is not the right function. We need the function which gives the current time, which is now, current date, sorry. So returns the date time representing the current moment okay so we need this so we insert the selected function so this simple function will give you the uh, the current date okay so let's just check syntax for safety so it's green and we can save it okay so in step number three uh, we can just check it if you want you can add more actions as of now it's not required so we can just click on done okay so now our workflow rule is ready so all we need to do is to activate it okay so now it's active so make sure you activate it or else it will not work all right so now let's test it out so let's move to our opportunity and let's get some test opportunities and you can do. so let's just check for some new opportunities first so let's create some new opportunity as the rule should work for new as well as uh, existing opportunities so let's create a new opportunity first and uh, we will just choose the required field uh, close date opportunity name so i'll just call it as test uh, workflow or which workflow test uh, time stamp workflow or maybe date that is better date stamp workflow account is not required as of now stage so stage if in the beginning we have qualification then it should fire okay so account name not required type and all those things are not required as of now okay all right so when you're working or you when you're deploying this code uh you make sure that you make this field as read only qualified on so that i should not be allowed or any user should not be allowed to update the field uh manually or you can set the field level security also to be read only okay all right so let's save and let's see what happens so opportunity is created and stage is qualification so let's go to details and see if we got the timestamp there so we got the timestamp qualified on this particular day okay so this is working so positive testing is done so now we have also have to do a negative testing so that it shouldn't update on any other scenario other than our criteria okay so this is only while creating the record now let's see when we update the record then does it update the field or not okay so in that case what i will do is i will edit and delete it first 
just to test it out so i can delete it so that we can see whether it's updating it or not okay so i'll just save it okay so it's not letting me delete it because it's updating it back because our stage is still qualification okay so let's just move to any other stage so mark as the current stage and now it should allow us to delete it it shouldn't update it back so let's just delete it and let's save it okay so qualified on is blank so now uh, there are two criteria one is it should be blank and one is it should uh, be in qualification stage so now when if the opportunity is moved to qualification stage then let's see if the update happens or not okay so that is one test so we will mark as the current stage and it should update the timestamp date stamp sorry okay so stage changed successfully and it updated the date here okay so now let's also test let's say if it's already been qualified before okay so does it update again or not so let's say if it was updated on and qualified on some other date uh, previously so let's say last week itself it was qualified okay now when it's moved to some other stage and when it comes back to qualified stage then it should it shouldn't update it okay because it's already been updated so our requirement was that it should update only once okay so now if we move ahead and and opportunity qualifies to the next stage it goes to value proposition and all so as as our it it is already qualified on on uh, 16th so it shouldn't update it again okay so let's mark as the current stage okay so stage changed now if you see it didn't uh, update it okay so that means it's updating only once now if it was blank it would have updated it okay so our workflow rule is, uh, rule is working for a new record it's working for existing record as well and it's updating it only once that means our all the tests possible tests are successful and our workflow rule is working as expected so that is the purpose of doing a positive as well as negative testing okay so it should work only when it's required it shouldn't work when it's not required okay so you have to make sure and this is not the work of a of a qa or or a tester it's work of a developer so you the first testing will be always done by the developer so once they test it and pass it over to the qa only then the qa should and uh, find any bugs in it okay all right so uh, that's all on this video so let me know if you have any questions any doubts or if you if you have a better approach so please comment in the comment box thank you bye bye